Today for our Kia portion of the show, brought to us by Kia of Attleboro, of course, we're gonna be talking about the Kia K5, which is their mid-size sedan, and I feel like it's a bit overlooked, and I think it's very good looking, it's very efficient, and as a matter of fact, somebody in our family just purchased one, and I got to have some hands-on time with it, and I thought it pretty impressive. So today, we're gonna to build one. So the K5 is a front-wheel drive car from Kia. It's a four-door sedan, and it has this beautiful roof line, which Kia sedans are known for now with their nice design language. You have the uh, entry-level LXS front-wheel drive, which is about $26,990. And then you move up to the GT line, the GT all-wheel drive, and we go to the EX. So I'm a big fan of all-wheel drive, seeing as we are here in New England, so we're going to do this. Pretty handsome looking car, and of course, my favorite color, black. So as usual when I'm building these cars, I know I've done a few different colors, but I think black really suits this, and it has the two-tone wheels, which I think are really neat. And if we click around here, one thing I really do like about the K5 is the back. It has this really cool light bar that goes across the back, and it has really great presence on the road. So you can get it in a bunch of different colors, but of course, me being me, we're gonna go with black. So let's go to the interior. Now you can, for this model you get the black and white, uh, the Syntex seat trim, you can also do red. I prefer the black and white, but we'll just take a peek here at the red, it's pretty neat. I think the black and white's really cool. You know, the, you can get a lot, of, uh, a lot of cars come with red seats, but not a lot of vehicles come with two-tone black and white seats, and I've always really liked that. Also, having spent some time with it, the seats are super comfortable, um, and it's a very quiet vehicle, and it's very, very good on fuel. So, we're gonna go next to the packages. So the GT Premium Package is something I would suggest and it's something I would definitely do. That gives you the active sound design, the Bose Premium Stereo, the LED interior lighting, which I'm a fan of, uh, and the panoramic sunroof to give you a little bit more of an airy feel in the interior. So we're gonna add that and go back to our configurator here. Next up, we're gonna go to accessories. Um, there's the auto dimming uh, rear view mirror with home link, which is always great as opposed to, you know, flipping the, the mirror back and forth. I like the auto dimming mirror, so we're going to add that on here. And as we go down, we have cargo nets, cargo trays. We're going to add the carpeted floor mats. I'm also going to add the LED trunk light because I'm always trying, I'm sifting, my vehicle now doesn't have a light in the back and I'm always trying to find something in the rear. And I think having a trunk light would completely solve that, so we're going to add that as well. Not a big uh, fan of mud guards, so we'll leave that off. And um, I don't think anybody's gonna be taking my wheels, but we're gonna leave the wheel locks off as well. So this is the GT line, all wheel drive in Aurora Black Pearl. We went with the black and white Syntex seat trim. And this one is the all wheel drive. So this only comes to $33,900, uh, excuse me, $33,395 with destination, which I think is a pretty crazy deal for something that's this well equipped. Now the K5 has the available dual panoramic displays, which is in the vehicle that we just built. It has torque vectoring all wheel drive in the one that we just built, and it can do zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds, which is enormously fast, considering if you think like when the 5.0 Mustang Fox bodies were out, those did zero to 60 in about six, six and a half seconds. So the fact that this Kia K5 can absolutely stomp one of those is pretty neat. A few things I wanted to mention on the trims. So the entry level vehicles, the non-turbocharged, that gives you the eight speed, 191 horsepower, 181 pound feet of torque, but it gives you Kia's suite of all of their safety features as always with Kia. So that gives you the auto emergency braking. Um, the, it also gives you blind spot detection, rear tra cross traffic alert, which we've talked about before, um, and the LED uh, headlights and taillights. And as you move up in the trims, you can get the uh, uh, the GT line that we just built, 33 miles per gallon, torque vectoring all-wheel drive, and of course with the all-wheel drive you have the drive mode select and you also have snow mode, which is great for us here in New England. Um, and on that vehicle you get the heated steering wheel. So the GT is where uh, it really takes a turn for the sportiness. That's the 2.5 liter four cylinder, it's turbocharged, that's 290 horsepower. 311 pound-feet of torque, and it has the eight-speed dual-clutch transmission. If you haven't driven a dual-clutch transmission, make sure to do so. They snap through the gears so quickly, it's totally insane. Uh, it's obviously, it's just switching clutches as opposed to actually shifting gears. It pre-selects the next gear, so it allows you to change super, super quickly. That's got the quad-tip exhaust, the panoramic sunroof that we uh, mentioned earlier. And I just think for the money, I think it's, uh, it's in a, 
it's a very, very good value. And something is zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds for $33,000 pano roof, heated steering wheel. And you have the, uh, the dual screen like you kind of get in a Mercedes-Benz E-Class on the inside and the upgraded interior with the black and white leather. So if you are interested in a K5 uh, in any of these trims, make sure to check them out at Kia of Attleboro.